Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a healthy way to enjoy one of your favorite desserts tiramisu. I'm also a huge fan but don't really enjoy all the sugar and fatty mascarpone cheese so I decided to come up with my version that is both delicious and healthy. It's not a traditional Italian recipe but overall it's a great alternative if you create tiramisu but don't want all the excess calories. So grab your spoon and let's get started. Instead of traditional coffee-soaked lady fingers, I choose to make light and fluffy old flour based sponge cake and I do that in less than 5 minutes. So in a bowl I add 1 cup ground oats, 2 tablespoons tapioca or cornstarch, 1 teaspoon baking powder, 3rd cup milk, 2 tablespoons maple syrup, 2 tablespoons applesauce and 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. I just mix it up, pour in this glass container, previously greased with butter and microwave for 2 minutes at high, that's all. This sponge cake is my base and after it cools a bit I'm going to cut it into chunks, place in my tiramisu bowl and soak the cake with coffee. I don't like very strong coffee flavors so use 1 teaspoon instant coffee powder per half cup water and also add 1 teaspoon maple syrup and 1 teaspoon rum for extra kick and I spoon coffee mixture over and around each piece instead of actually dipping the cake in. It just soaks too much coffee the other way. But if I want to make it even more simpler, I just pour all of the coffee over one cup old fashioned rolled oats, add extra tablespoon sweetener and let it soak for one hour, just like you would do with overnight oats. And that's the second option for healthier tiramisu base. Now for the cream part, I'm going to make it lighter instead of egg sugar mascarpone cream, I use naturally low in fat ricotta cheese. Just for comparison, this 400 grams ricotta contains about 32 grams of fat and the same amount of mascarpone has enormous 200 grams. To make it less grainy and more creamy, I first beat ricotta until smooth, it really makes a great difference in texture. And for sweetness I prefer adding honey instead of sugar, I need about 3 tablespoons and I'm going to add 1 to 2 teaspoons vanilla extract. I'm still not happy with the texture so I add half cup heavy cream that I whipped which makes the mixture more airy and light, that gives me very close results like when using mascarpone cheese. For assembling the tiramisu I soak the oatmeal base with coffee, then I pour this slight ricotta cream, spread all over evenly and I need to put it in the fridge to chill for a few hours, or if I don't want to wait I can dig right into it. Of course for serving I dust everything with a generous amount of cocoa powder. This recipe I made for 3 to 4 persons, but you can make it larger by using for example this large mixing bowl and just doubling the ingredients. Now for the taste test, I really like how light this tiramisu is, it's a bit firmer but still smooth and creamy, just enough sweet and I can't taste the oats, just coffee and vanilla cream, it's so delicious but also healthy. And if you want to make a lighter cheesecake, I suggest you give it a try with this crustless ricotta cheesecake, it's 200 calorie per slice and it will take you only 10 minutes of prep time. Check out that recipe now, thank you so much for watching, see you in another video, stay healthy, stay happy.